Hey there, we just got back from Gardner Supply Company in Burlington, Vermont, and they had a really big sale. Like they had like a, a nursery flash sale, they called it, where all perennials were 70% off. These are like overwintered perennials. So I'm just gonna show you what we got because we got a good number of things. So let me just show you that. So I'm just on our deck. Um, we have a bunch of our seeds that we started out here in a previous video. Um, so once the weather starts warming up, I think I'll throw some domes on here to boost the humidity on them and try to get those to sprout or just let like see what happens with mother nature and see if they sprout on their own. Um, but yeah, for what we got at Gardener Supply, uh, we got some strawberries. So these three are strawberries that are overwintered. Um, this one says Proven Harvest Berry Treasure Pink. That one is the same one. Um, yeah, this is the same one as well. And then we're really excited. We got um, this uh, Forsythia. It's called Show Off Sugar Baby. And most of the things we got were proven winners, which we really like. We, we were obsessed with like a uh, garden answer on YouTube and she always has is sponsored by them or swears by them. So we got those. And then on the other end, we got Heather Spring Torch. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen of what that's gonna look like in summer or whenever it's um, whenever it's in season. And then, so that's this. These are all for the same thing, and it's a Spring Torch Scots Heather Deep Lavender Flower in Late Summer. And then it grow upright to 20 inches, new growth is red. So that'll be really pretty. I'll have to figure out where we're gonna put that. Um, <clears throat> and then we got, oh, can't get to focus. Oh, we got a bunch of, um, a bunch of hostas. So this one is Shadowland Hudson Bay. Uh, so that will be really cool. And then this one is the Shadowland Autumn Frost. Um, let's see what this one is. Hudson Bay again. And, oh, this one. Oh, I'm excited for this one. The Shadowland uh, Empress Wu. I've seen those in uh, Garden Answers videos, so she really likes those. And then... The Shadowland Woo La La. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> and then another Autumn Frost. And then here's, an, here's our other Forsythia. And I, I, I'm really excited about this because it's going to bring some like yellow color into our garden. So that'll be really pretty. Remove that. We've got a Sedum Telephiotis. So then we, we can see like the buds already on it. It's really cute. So that'll be nice. Oh, so this is um, Phlox. I love Phlox. They're so cute. Um, opening Act Blush, which I think is just like a purplish blue. But purplish blue is like my favorite color. So I love Phlox because it's just like the perfect hue to me. So I'm excited to put that. I don't know where it's going to put it yet, but you can already see like some new growth happening on these. So these will bounce back in no time in the spring. And then I think this is the same one. Um, let me see. Yeah, another Phlox. So that'll be so cool. But but yeah, this, this all, these two bushes and all of these perennials and the strawberries, like all the perennial things we got, this was around like $150. And normally, Normally it would be around, um, I think we saved maybe like three, three to $400. I'll have to ask Blake, but, um, yeah, we saved so much money by doing this sale. Um, and things like hostas and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really excited to just get already grown perennials of that. Cause I've never, we haven't really looked into growing hostas from seed, but I don't even know if you can do that. I've just heard of people like dividing the plant. So yeah, this will be really cool. And I'm, I'm glad we got some stuff to put in in the spring. So yeah. 
And just to update with our winter sewing project, we haven't gotten any germination yet, I don't think. Um, but all the snow has melted off of our deck and around our garden. Like, we still have a good amount of snow in the back still, but it's getting there, it's getting there. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll probably, uh, probably take you around and show you what's popping up so far, but I'm excited to see if these actually do anything, because we got a good amount. All right, so I also wanted to update you guys on how our seedlings are doing. Um, we, we, I would have updated a long time ago and put out some of our videos, but we've been sick for like what feels like the past like two months. It was crazy. We, we got sick really bad for like two weeks and then we recovered and then we went on a trip to California and that was really fun. And I'll, I'll show uh, maybe a couple photos right now. Um, but that was really fun. We went to LA and um, we went to Joshua Tree and we got to go to the Trixie Motel and it was super cool. Um, but yeah, so we, we were sick, then we went on a trip and then we came home and we got sick again. And this time it was like really bad where we were like laid up for like probably like three weeks straight. Like we were just now like recovered and feeling better. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, let me show you the seedlings and um, I'm also going to go ahead and water them and add some fertilizer to them because they're at the point where they can handle some fertilizer now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll, we'll do that together. Okay, so first off, this wild mess right here is asparagus. We actually need to up pot this this week. Um, these are just like the soil blocks of all the asparagus. So we need to put these in four inch pots. So we're gonna do that this week. Um, we've got onions, so red onions, uh, yellow onions, a bunch of onions in four inch pots. So these are doing really good still. I have trimmed these twice so far. So I'm gonna keep trimming them. Um, I I've seen like mixed things about trimming onions online. Um, but I just decided this year I'm going to try trimming all of my onions because I haven't, I've never grown onions from seed, seed before. So yeah, this year I'm just going to trim all my onions and see how it goes. And if it doesn't, if I want to try next year, not, um, trimming them, I'll try that out next year. But just cause it's not going to be easy to keep track if I do like half trimmed, half not trimmed. So just going to do all trimmed. Another tray of crazy asparagus. Um, and then in these little pots, Blake put a bunch of little herbs, I think, and flowers. Um, but I think they just had these domes and they wanted to try using them. So they got like summer savory, I got some flowers too, like calendula, uh, catnip. Let's see. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. And, and I guess some are still germinating, but, and then some, they're gonna, they probably should take these domes off soon on some of these because a lot of, Summer savory has come up, so that can probably, the dome can probably come off of that now. Um, and then in this tray, we've got a lot of onions. This one is like really kind of sad looking. I do need to water it. Maybe it'll bounce back after that. But I, <laughs> we had a lot of leftover seeds and I was like, okay, just put them all in one pot, Blake. And they did. Now there's a lot of onions in it, so we'll see. <laughs> but... Yeah, I got onions, and then these are two two leeks. So I don't know <laughs> where we're gonna put those, but those are fun. Um, okay, so I got cal calendula back here, and then uh, summer savory and summer savory in this front row, zatar in this row, and then catnip in this row. They're really small sprouts. I don't know if you can see them, but those are going good. And then, all right. So then in this tray, we got three rows, three rows of drumstick flowers. Those are really fun. I can't wait to put those out. Um, and then we got straw flowers. And those are, this one still needs to germinate. So I'm going to keep this plastic wrap on it. Because some of these things like popped up while we had the dome tray on, uh, on the dome on all of them. 
So just to make sure these still germ germinate, I put like plastic wrap on top of them too, on the ones that didn't germinate. Um, and then I got these all in the back are cabbage. They're so cute. Little cabbage. Um, all right. And then these are all dahlias, dah dahlias. And these in the back are peppers. And those are coming up. Yeah, those are germinating. I think I just need a couple more to be covered. But they're almost there, almost done. Peppers take a long time to germinate. And then in this dome, these are peppers as well. But yeah, these are, they're coming up so slow. I feel like, I feel like it's been like a week and a half so far. But yeah, once those all germinate, we can take the dome off. I probably need to air it out because I think like with the domes, you want to like do a day where you leave like the dome off so it doesn't grow really bad algae and stuff. So I probably need to do a day like that, but I just have really wanted it to germinate. So I hate messing up the humidity, humidity in them. All right. And then down here, um, I don't know what this is. Is this? Um, I need to ask Blake. I don't remember what this is. It doesn't have a smell. <laughs> Crap. I don't remember what it is. I'll have to ask Blake and get back to you on that while I water them. Uh, basil. Like, put some basil in this. Um, and then, oh, these are rosemary. They're really cute. Really cute little rosemaries. And then in the back over here, we've got some eucalyptus. These are really cute. We love buying like eucalyptus at Trader Joe's and stuff and putting it in our shower. So it's gonna be really fun to grow it ourselves and do that. Um, and then, so we had some, our friend gave us some marijuana seeds. So we have a bunch of marijuana plants we, we grew. So that's gonna be really fun. Um, oh, and these, oh, maybe these are actually celery. Oh, okay, wait, I don't know. That seems like a lot of celery. Maybe it is, though. <clears throat> these all down here are celery plants. We already thinned these and up potted them from um, soil blocks. So these are doing really good. All right. So that's where we're at right now. We got to start all of our tomatoes this week and a bunch of other stuff. But we're filling it up pretty fast. We got <laughs> the cats meowing on the other side of the wall. Um, but we got this whole shelf up here and most of this shelf down here to fill out. So we got plenty of room on this shelf. I know Blake cleared out two shelves in here to also put plants on. I think we're gonna have to buy some more lights, but yeah, it's good to know we have a lot of space. And we also have another shelf in our office. So it's gonna start filling up fast. We gotta keep going and do some more. But let's get these fertilized. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize, get my fertilizer ready. So I bought this organic Neptune Harvest fish seaweed fertilizer, two, three, one. I, I, I looked it up and this says it's like probably the best Neptune Harvest fertilizer for seedlings. Um, so we're going to try it out. Um, the directions, though, I'm kind of confused. Because it's got house plants, outdoor plants, which is like plants inside. Or outdoor plants is like plants outside in the ground. And then seed germination, it says soak in solution of one teaspoon per cup of water. Which isn't exactly what I'm doing. I'm just watering my plants with fertilizer, like bottom watering them. But I think I'm just going to put two tablespoons um, in this, like, used jug and shake it up with the cap on and um, then bottom water with it. So let's just try that. All right. So there's one tablespoon, two tablespoons. And, and my um, seedlings have been germinated before. I just haven't been using this stuff. I was using another kind of stuff. So they already know what it's about. <laughs> so 
They should be able to handle this, I hope. I'm gonna fill that up and then shake it. All right, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space at the top just so I have room to shake it. And I'm gonna go shake it in the sink and not in the seat room where I'm sure I'll spill it or splash drippings all over it. All right, let's go put this at the bottom of the trays. Okay, I'm just gonna hit them with this apple juice. And I'm gonna start from top and then work my way down. Um, when I do the like soil block ones, I wanna like, I, when I water them, I pour and try to hit like more of the like side than like right on top of it, one of them. So I just kinda, I just kinda hit the tray more than hitting the blocks. And I probably have to go and do another solution. And also when I, the days I water, I uh, come back again at the end of the night to see if any of these have absorbed a lot of water and then need to be watered again. Well, that was fast. Maybe I'll go to make two jugs and come back and do the rest of them. Okay, I got two more jugs so I don't run out. All right, let's get these onions. All of our house plants we do bottom watering too. It's supposed to like prevent gnats because you're only soaking up from the bottom. And gnats, like with house plants and other plants, um, they like to like grow in water and bacteria and stuff. So that tends to happen more on the top of the soil. So when you bottom water, you prevent that. Also another benefit of bottom watering is that like the roots tend to like reach down for the water. So that promotes good uh, root growth because they're like, where's the water? And they're like reach, reaching down to find it. And that's just stimulating the growth more to like go downward. So I got these all watered. And then sometimes I'll like spill a bit. So I just have this mop in here and I just go and make sure I get anything I spilled. So it's not sitting on the ground and messing up these. I don't think these are real hardwoods, but <laughs> they're like laminate or something, but regardless. Good to not let water sit on your floors. All right, done with that. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do some tree trimming today. It's pretty nice outside. It's like 50. Yeah, let me look. Look at your watch. It's 52. 52. And then tomorrow it's supposed to snow, and then the next day it's gonna snow, and then the next day it's gonna snow. So <laughs> we're trying to take advantage of this nice weather and do some tree, uh, like fruit tree trimming. Um, right now we're in front of our chicken coop from the previous owners, and there's three hazelnuts in front of it. These two hazelnut trees. hazelnut trees, these two on the side are smaller and then this one's a lot taller. So we're going to take a good size off on the top of it to match the other two. Yeah, I, I pruned those pretty heavily, but uh, we need a ladder for this one. So that's why we've waited, waited until spring. So. Yeah. So yep. we're going to go ahead and do that. Cool. <laughs>
This is where we ended up with the hazelnut tree. Um, we trimmed these two in the fall, these first two. And now this one matches, it's the same height now. It's gonna be way easier to harvest hazelnuts on. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the pear tree to trim. All right, next we're gonna do this pear tree. It's a beast. Um, it just has like so much growth out of the center of it where we need to do like big cuts at the bottom. But Blake likes focusing on the small cuts. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get some big cuts and like make it thinned out more. Okay, this is what it looks like after. I think we created a lot more airflow and got a lot more height off of it. Um, next year we'll, we'll keep going at it with the twistedness at the center point. Yeah, I'd like to get more of these branches out the center, but I don't want to send it into shock and because I want to get fruit next year. So we got a lot of top growth off, which is the main goal and it looks so much cleaner. All right, cool. I think that's all we're gonna do today, but we still have two apples to do, and this is another pear right there. Right there, there's another pear tree. And I think I just wanna to top it, but I think I'm gonna need a chainsaw to do that. So I need to get that oiled up, and then I can come out and do that. All right. All right, we finished all the pruning of the fruit trees and I got all the seedlings watered and um, now we got a bunch of stuff to plant from our garden gardener supply company haul. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Spring is going full speed and we better be ready for it. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, I look, f we already have like a bunch of stuff filmed for me to put out another video. I just got to edit and do it. So keep an eye out for upcoming videos and thanks for hanging out. See you next time.